Why, hello there. Welcome back to the animal room where today we won't even be in the animal room. And the reason for that is because we're going to the reptile expo. I have never been to a reptile expo in my life. I've been keeping exotic animals for six plus years and I've been in this hobby for a couple years now, but I have never been to a reptile expo. Now, in terms of things that I will be getting at the expo, unfortunately, I'm not in the market to get any more reptiles or amphibians. However, invertebrates are completely on the list. There are a few mantis species that I would like to get as well as a couple isopod species if I can find them. In all honesty, I've been wanting to do something with isopods for a long time now, but I've just never really gotten to it. I thought about doing rubber duckies, but they're just a little bit out of my price range right now. So we're just gonna go and see what else we can find. Now this is also a plant expo and there are a few plant species I would like to get. One is that if they have any ficus I'll probably just pick that up just because I'm running low. And second is as most of you know I'm planning on redoing the red-eyed tree frog enclosure soon so I would like to pick up some bromeliads. So without further ado it's time to get going. A lot of driving later and we had finally arrived at the expo. It was really cool just the whole like, you know, getting in sequence again because it was my first and once I was in I was immediately overwhelmed by the amount of plants, animals, as well as other things in there. After walking around a bit just to get my bearings and see what all there was, I ended up coming across this cute ball python as well as these cool chameleons that were looking all weird and cute. So after being awkward and walking around a bit more, I made my first stop at this isopod booth where unfortunately I wasn't able to get some rubber duckies as they were out, but I did get another species that I'll show later. After being awkward some more, I made a stop at this plant stand where I did pick up some ficus. They did have some bromeliads, but they were a bit big for what I wanted to work on. The third booth I stopped at had a whole bunch of different animals, as well as these feigning death beetles that I really wanted to get, but I unfortunately didn't in place of another animal. After that, I decided to walk around a little bit more just to see what else they had. They ended up having a little bit of cork bark as well as driftwood that I wanted and as well as this giant African millipede that I would have got if it wasn't so expensive. Jeez. Then I came across this tank of axolotls and had to use all of my strength to hold myself back from getting one before exploring around a bit more. After doing a little bit more shenanigans, I had concluded that I had seen everything and got all that I wanted, so I started to head home. I got a little surprised. Once I secured the goods, I got back in the car and started the journey home. Okay, so we're back from the expo. I had a really, really fun time there. It was a cool experience, especially since it was my first. There were so many cool animals, so many cool people. Everybody there was so nice. I also would have liked to get rubber ducky isopods, but they were a little bit more on the expensive side and they were out of them. But regardless, I had a great time. So now that we're back in the animal room, let me show you what I got. So starting off on the plant side of things, I wasn't able to get any bromeliads. They did have a couple of them, but none of them were really what I wanted. Some of them were a little too big, a little too small, and I just figured it could be a while till I actually start that project. So I figured I'd just wait on those. But I was able to pick up a good amount of ficus. I'm really happy that I was able to get this because I really, really wanted some. After doing the mossy frog project, I was pretty low, and I was able to get some for a decent price. Then the second thing I got, which I'm super, super excited about, is I got some orange dairy cow isopods. Now, as I said, I would have liked to get rubber duckies, but the dairy cow were always my second option. One thing I really, really liked about these dairy cows is how active they were. A lot of the other species they had, such as like the zebras or the panda kings, they weren't super, super active. And I really wanted a species that like, when I make the enclosure for them, they'll just be out and running around and doing their business. But like I said, these are orange dairy cows. They didn't have any dairy cows. They had the orange variety, which honestly I sort of like more. So I'm super excited to set up an enclosure for them, hopefully in the near future. The next thing that I got was an animal on my list. I got a dead leaf mantis. This is the same one that I had kept a couple months ago that unfortunately passed away. Regardless, it was one of my favorite species to keep. I really enjoyed keeping it and I just, I really wanted to get another one. I just, I couldn't find the right time. Luckily they had one, so I decided I'd get one. And then the last the last thing that I got was sort of a surprise to me, myself, and I. In all honesty, I didn't expect for this to happen. It just sort of was one of those one of those things in the moments that just kind of happened. It's something that I didn't expect to do. It's something I didn't expect to happen. So enough building suspense. The fourth and final thing that I got at the expo is an axolotl. Yes, you heard that right an axolotl. Like I said, I did not expect for this to happen. I knew they were gonna have axolotls there and I knew that I was gonna have a hard time holding myself back, but I ended up going there, just seeing them in the tank and it just like pulled me in with the axolotl magnetism and I just had to get one. Now, unlike Bubbles, who is a wild type axolotl, this axolotl is a leucistic one, which is the one that I have been wanting for a while. I don't have an exact age, but I'm guessing around three to four months based on the size. I'm also not 100% sure about the gender yet. I'm thinking it's a female, but it's kind of hard to tell because it's so young. But regardless, I am very happy that I was able to get 
an axolotl. Now I need to come up with a name for it. If you guys have any suggestions, make sure to leave those down in the comments. So for the time being, I just have the axolotl on a five gallon tank. I'm eventually gonna set something up that's a lot bigger for her, but the five gallon temporary tank will be fine for now. As for the isopods, all I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna set them up in a tub. I have a tub that I can use for that. Then as for the dead leaf mantis, it'll be fine in that cup for quite a while, honestly. So it'll probably be a little while until I end up working on something for him. And then for the ficus, I already have a tub that I'm propagating a little bit of ficus in, so I'm just gonna throw it in with that. And everything should be good to go. But that is going to do it for this video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a really fun time making it as well as attending the expo. If you guys are down for it, I'd love to make more videos like this whenever I go to another expo. But that is going to do it for this week. In all honesty, I took the last week off because I was a little overwhelmed by the stuff down here. So I have a lot of stuff to get back to. I've got some really, really cool content coming up and I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm hoping that this will be kind of that, that big stretch I've been waiting for of just content that I'm really, really proud of and really, really happy with. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new and leave a like if you like the video and I'll see you all next week.